you're in the West Village, the place to be. Don't miss Christopher Street, born at the corner, headed toward the Hudson River, the western boundary of Manhattan. Hi, I'm Jen Rubens from the Books on Tape and Listening Library marketing team, and I'm standing in front of the historic Stonewall Inn in Greenwich Village, New York City, just a short subway ride away from our Penguin Random House audio offices. Today, we'll begin recording the audiobook of Stonewall. On June 27, 1969, a raid at this very location started a riot and triggered the beginning of the national gay rights movement. This is the very place where it all began, and this is the incredibly important book that tells the story. Odyssey Honor winning narrator and author and actor Tim Federley will narrate Stonewall on audio for Listening Library. So let's head over to the studio now and see what it's like. That door where people pause, then enter? Yes, that's important. Pay attention. That's the Stonewall. The Stonewall Inn. It's very exciting to, to narrate Stonewall because there's so much yep. to learn. I've lived in New York City almost 20 years, but I learned things about the AIDS crisis and the very first uh, ever gay rights parade and how that sort of spread across the world. And also the sort of political ramifications of this huge riot that happened one night in 1969. And Anne Bossom has this incredibly cinematic way of writing about something that is just one night but ended up changing history for, for gay men and lesbians and transgender people forever, really. But back at the corner, you're in the West Village, the place to be. Don't miss Christopher Street, born at the corner, headed toward the Hudson River, the western boundary of Manhattan. But first, retrace your steps. It's a very special project to me personally because I got to meet Seymour Pine at a book launch many years ago, the officer who actually conducted the raid and then later on apologized for it. And also it's a special project to me because one of the people that was here in the Stonewall at that time was a playwright by the name of Doric Wilson. And when I first came to New York City, I got to work with him. So when I was reading the manuscript and ran across quotes from him, it took me back. The author says that she wrote this in the company of ghosts. There were many ghosts around me as well as I was reading it and directing it. To read Anne Bossom's book is to not just learn a lot about a, a movement that I'm a part of just by being a gay man and also just by being an American, but also to learn how a really smart writer takes a nonfiction event and turns it into something narrative and cinematic, almost like a radio play. So I hope that listeners take away, no matter what the age is, uh, something that really feels almost like a really juicy NPR episode because there's a lot of meat in that story and, uh, and they're going to be really excited and horrified by some of the things that happen. Pay attention. History walks through that door. <laughs> 